everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. In today's video, we're going to be discussing an antibiotic by the name of Cefuroxime. Its brand name is Ceftin. And before we talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. Now, during this presentation, we'll discuss the mechanism of action or how this medication works, indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, followed by contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe Cefuroxime. We'll then touch on examples of dosing and then finish it off with side effects. I've put together some slides to go over this information. So let's just jump right into it. So the first thing to discuss here will be the mechanism of action or how this medication works. So cefuroxime, like penicillins, is a beta-lactam antibiotic. By binding to specific penicillin binding proteins located inside the bacterial cell wall, it inhibits the third and last stage of bacterial cell wall synthesis. In terms of indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, we may see it used to treat an infection of the bone, as well as an infection of the skin or subcutaneous tissue. Patients with a lower respiratory infection may use this medication, as well as patients with meningitis. It can be used for prophylaxis for post-operative infections, and to treat urinary tract infectious diseases. There are also some other indications as well. With respect to contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe cefuroxime to a patient, well, first of all, we wouldn't give this medication to a patient who had a hypersensitivity to cefuroxime or to any other component of the formulation. As well, we wouldn't give this medication to a patient who had a hypersensitivity to other cephalosporin antibiotics. Now for some examples of dosing with cefuroxime. So in the treatment of an infection of the bone, we may see 1.5 grams given intravenously or intramuscularly every 8 hours for 5 to 10 days, followed by a course of oral antibiotics. If, it's like, if this infection is life-threatening or less susceptible, then we would give 1.5 grams intravenously or intramuscularly uh, every six hours instead. For lower respiratory tract infections, we may see 750 milligrams given again intravenously or intramuscularly every eight hours for five to 10 days. And if the infection is severe or complicated, we may see 1.5 grams given IV or IM every eight hours for five to 10 days. As with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using cefuroxime, so I'll go over some of those here now. One common side effect with this medication is that you may see a eosinophil count being raised. Some serious um, side effects, that some of these are actually very rare, but I figured I would note them here anyway, are hypersensitivity reactions, Steven Johnson syndrome, toxic epidermal necrolysis, erythema multiform, or thrombocytopenia. All right, everybody, that's all we're going to talk about today with cefuroxime or ceftin. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to go by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, remember you can like the videos, share the videos, and most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And there's also some links in the description you can check out as well. That's it for today. Take care.